Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm uh, doing a little uh, video, a little different today. I'm watching Peter Shrimp, but uh, for all those of you that know how I do my tanks on my shrimp rack, um, I kind of got into a little uh, issue because when I started doing my tanks, some of the tanks, the plastic up top, are thinner. They're a different brand than the rest of the tanks. And so now that I have so many Caradina, um, I want to move the shrimp. I want to have two full rolls of Caradina instead of having Neos in certain spots also. So I want to have the bottom. The whole bottom just Caradina. Hold on a sec. And uh, for me to do that, I moved the tanks. But when I moved the tanks, it ended up putting uh, one of my skinny rim tanks up top, or I mean down on the bottom. And they're supposed to all be thick frame. So, uh, I also have a cherry tank up there that I want to move out of there. I want to get the cherries out of there. Um, uh, and these guys need to be put in a thick frame tank. So what I'm doing today is I'm swapping shrimp and I'm swapping tanks. There's actually, uh, cause the Black King Kong shadows up there are actually in a tank that doesn't match anything. It's got black silicone and the, the frame is thick. So I, I want to get that out of there. And then the cherries, you know, need to get off that shelf too. So those need to be taken out of that tank and put in, swap with one of the tanks over there. <clears throat> one of the Caradina. So anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. Right now what I'm doing is uh, uh, getting the shrimp out of the tank. Um, so uh, I can move them. Uh, so I, well, put them in a container. Ooh, that's a big piece of my expensive fissadin. Must have broke off. We don't want to lose that. We'll put that in a tank. Let that bad boy grow. Right down in there. So when I do, there's so many shrimp in here, shrimplets and everything. This is the orange really tank. I use a really large net. Um, you know, because the shrimp are so fast. So if I can get 10 or so at a time, let's bring them in. Flip them over, put them into my catch tub, and I continue this. Um, now I can use smaller nets, but I mean, I'll be here for hours. Because, I mean, like I said, there's, big, there's so many pregnant mamas in here, so I have to be careful. I don't want to be banging them around and... You know, keep them out of water longer than I should. You know, I want to be quick with it. So I want them out. And I want them in. You know, so it's the water out of this tank. So uh, they're not being put in anything different. I have a whole five gallons right there. Of the water that I'm going to put in the tank that they're going to move to. So, you know, they're not even going to notice anything's really happened, except, except maybe a temperature change. But um, the temperature change is going to be uh, more, more so in this container here that in the catch tub, uh, because it's going to warm up, not being down at the bottom of the... 
you know, if I come in here just with my hands and just kind of spook them into the net, then I don't have to rush after them and, you know, I mean, because I started off with 50 of these guys and now probably 90% of all my females are buried. I don't know how many babies they've had so far. I mean, the tank... See, I have to get the adults first and then come back and get the shrimplets one by one. Hopefully they all just jump in the net as I'm collecting because they're not super small, you know, but uh, I would like to, um, you know, I don't want to miss one. I need one. So I've done this, uh, I don't know how many times switching shrimp, so I know it's not, you know, it doesn't hurt them, I've never lost any, uh, I'm just really careful about it, um, <laughs> they, <clears throat> they just don't like being, uh, you know, they don't like having to go to, into a new home, you know, but the thing is, is, I mean, they're not going into a smaller home, they're not, uh, you know, they're not being transported. Uh, they're just literally going from one tank into another. And here's the thing is the tanks are cycled. Uh, the substrate, everything's cycled. So they're, all I'm doing is switching tanks for the, for the plastic. You know, that's it. Nothing else. I'm not switching for anything else. Except the plastic. So you know, I just keep them down. Just uh, kind of move my fingers around real easy. Because I don't want to push the net into the corner. So whoever goes in, goes in, that's it. I don't force anybody. I want everybody to kind of just be like, hey, okay, I'll go in. You know, nice and easy like that. I mean, I. I I have all day. I'm in, I'm in no hurry. You know, I just want to show you guys things that happen. Uh, you know, changes that are made. You know, it's, you know, it's, you got to figure this is more or less a store. You know, people come here, shop. You know, I have tanks just like a store. Uh, you know, people, you know, it's just stuff that happens you know, in a business. Uh, and another thing is, is my biggest thing is I want my stuff to look a certain way. You know, I don't want people coming here or seeing, you know, watching my videos and they're like, geez, look, this stuff don't match, it don't do this, it don't do this. I mean, that doesn't, uh, like, say that I don't take care of my pets, but, or my shrimps, but, you know, I, I want my things a certain way. So, I'm down to the last three. If I can get them in here. What? Come on, come on. Get it. Get, 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 get. Oh, yeah. I think that's all the adults. Yep. It's all the big adults. So, and the cool thing is I'll show you guys how many shrimps are in here. And... Here's another thing is when I do this, the tank kind of gets reset, even though it doesn't need reset, but, you know, uh, a tank that has so many shrimp like this, the, it gets fed, you know, more, and, uh, so, you know, there's a lot of shrimp and they poop a lot. And when the shrimp poop a lot, then poop gets all in the in the tank. <clears throat> so, just got some water drops on the floor from that. 
Oh yeah, wait till you see all this. So, uh, you know, shrimp really, uh, they'll really breed good if, uh, you know, they get the water changes, you know. So, and then, you know, I cut back on my, on my feeding. Um, so, uh, when I cut back on the feeding, you know, a lot of snails die. And then when they die, you know, their shells are all in here. So, I don't mind the shells. It's just, uh, you know, you can only do so much um, when the tank's full. Come on, get in there. There you go. The little guys, they're just, they're spunky. They jump and... This can be, uh, it can be an all-day job if you've never done it before and you're not sure how to go about it. Oh, it could take forever and a day. All right, that looks like somebody had babies recently. See, and then you can get, you know, all the floating matter out. I mean, you can get everything out. But all the gook and, you know, all the stuff that's in the substrate, you know, I'm going to keep all that. So it's going to go, you know, in the tank when I reset it up. It's going to, you know, it'll have the same bacteria, the same everything. Because I just dump everything in a bucket and then go from there. So it's not like they're being put into a, you know, a per se, new surroundings per se. They're, they're going in new surroundings, but it's, it's almost the exact same thing. If uh, you follow me on that. Now the shrimplets aren't hard to see. They're not that small. Just got to Tap the little gravel and go around and snag them up. They're about a quarter inch. But yeah, I just watch a little pure shrimp here. Uh, I don't know, it's a. <clears throat> He's got uh, somebody on today, so. Kind of like it a little more when it's uh, just one on one, and you know. So I don't mind uh, muting it, but I like to uh, I like to support you know other shrimp keepers. So you know, leaving my computer on and stuff, you know, it ke keeps its numbers up. You know, it all looks good. So. You know, even if I'm not, I mean, I said hi to everybody, comment and stuff, but if I'm, you know, I don't have to listen to it. I just leave it on and, you know, maybe later I'll turn it, turn the volume up. But, you know, I got stuff to do and, you know, if, if I stay on it, then he's not losing a viewer. You know, that's the whole thing and you know, it says a whole six people watching now, so it's kind of kind of like one of my channels but you know the whole thing is is you gotta like the hobby not <clears throat> worry about you know who's watching who's not you know it's it's really not about that so it's all about uh you know trying to get you know teach people how to you know take care of shrimp and you know 
how to enjoy the hobby and get into it. And, you know, all sorts of good stuff. So, that's what I do. I don't know if anybody else does it when I'm streaming, but that's what I do to help support. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's this is tedious, but like I said, you know, again, comes down to you know, and enjoying what you do and, you know, getting into this and, I mean, <laughs> it's a huge stress reliever, but uh, also <laughs> creates a lot of stress because you have to, you know, on these little baby guys, I mean, you have to be super careful, you know, you don't want to crush them in the rocks and, you know. So, you just have to watch what you're doing. Yeah. Now what I'll probably do is put this off to the side. Uh, oh, yeah, look, there's about seven uh, shrimplets, newborns. Probably only a couple days old. But uh, I could put this tank off to the side because it's not really important right now. I have uh, I have other tanks that I need to empty. That's pure shrimp all done. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's all done. All right, well, now we can shut it off. <clears throat> he didn't stand that long today. Surprised me. I like to stay on long and, I don't know, just kick it and talk about stuff. See, now the thing is, is do I really want to lose any of these shrimp? <clears throat> no. I don't want to lose one of them. But if for some reason, let's say one got lost or something, or I didn't catch them, I mean, it'd be terrible, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. So, but, you know, look, I raise them. You know, I don't want, you know, I breed them. <clears throat> Every single one of them means something to me. Not on a financial uh, level, but, you know. Um, I took it upon myself to get into this hobby to raise shrimp. So, you know, some people might say, oh, well, it's no big deal. You know, it's just little baby ones, but, you know, they all had a life. They, you know, they're all born. But what I could probably do is get my wife down here. She's really good at this stuff. She's, she likes to be tedious about things and get every little thing that she can. That's super cool because she's really good at it. Like she gets snails out of the 120. She'll sit there for a half hour just because she wants to see how many she can get. Not that the snails bother her as much as... You know, it's the, the the knowing of how many, you know, were able to be collected every time, each and every time, you know, so. See with these babies. Yeah, these are probably just, uh, these were probably born today or yesterday, I would say. But that's the thing is, uh. You know, you just got to go around and bump the rocks and 
three or four of them jump up and then you just scoop them up nice and easy. But it's not something that you could do real fast, I mean, unless you don't want to keep them, and unless you want to injure them. You know, it's just, there's no way around uh, doing it. But, you know, slowly. But, you know, there's only, you know, let's say, you know, one of the mamas gave birth, you know, they only give up to 30 to 40 babies. So it's not hard. You know, once you go through and you don't see anything jumping no more, then you got them all. You know, but I'll get every one I can. They click this, I only got one here, but <laughs> one's better than nothing. And the cool thing is they don't fight to get out of the, or to stay in the net. They're just floating around, you know, they don't know. They're too small to know what's going on. There's, uh, is that one? Yep. Just floating around. So see, it's kind of easy. You know, you just come through here and they, they pop up and, you know, you just, uh, scoop them up as you go. Like I said, you know, it's, you know, it's, uh, being in the hobby really dropped, you know, it's good for your stress and stuff, but it also causes it, so, you know, so it's like, uh, you know, one hand washes the other, but, you know, it's just something that neat, you know, like I said. I choose to do this when 90% of the, the females are pregnant, so it's like, uh, you know, if I choose to do it now, then, you know, I have to take the good with the bad. I mean, I'm switching tanks so I can get my tanks all right, but, you know, I still have to take care of all the babies. You know, so I think that's about it. I'll leave the tank sit for a little bit. Now you come back and pop around, but yeah, see this tank, it's got a lot of, a lot of floating crap around, see, and that's another thing that makes it kind of hard to see, is, uh, you know, it got stirred up, so, I mean, I can see it really good, it's not like I can't see any babies, but, but uh, here's, here's some over here, oh boy, a whole bunch of them were hiding out, holy heck. Six or seven. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a whole little colony over here. Oh, no, I think I got most of them. There's two. See, and if they don't really know what's going on, they'll go in the net and then they'll stay there. You know, they won't try to escape. Because they're just like, we see, now they're just like, you know, I found them. So they're swimming around, you know, just doing whatever. So I just come in here and just scoop them up. But yeah, just tap the rocks. Because I don't want to trap them in, in the gravel. So, you know, here we go. You know, it's just, you see them and then you come by and you kind of just spook it to jump up. And then you just, you know come by and pick it on up. I think I uh, got him. Oh, no. He's a couple more. Actually, more than a couple. See, these little guys are quick, man. They're, they're not as fast as the adults, but they sure can move. And they, and they don't know what's going on, so... You guys are probably staring at the back of my head, aren't you? Hopefully not too bad. Oh, here's one. They're hiding. Come on. 
There you go, gotcha. Because they just look, they're like little white, they have no color yet, you know, they're so small. Like I said, they're probably just uh, born today. Uh, yesterday at the latest. So. I think that might be it. But I'll put this tank to the side. It's so like I said, I have to work on other tanks, so. You yeah, don't see any, just a poop. Yeah, for right now, just poop. But, <clears throat> I mean, you know, <clears throat> I'm sure, uh, you know, doing it right now isn't the best time, but I don't have, you know, well, I guess I have a choice, but I'd have to wait because there's so many pregnant females in there. I'd probably have to wait, you know, two months, uh, even longer, because they're just going to keep on getting pregnant, I pr you know. You know, that's what it is. It's just packed with, you know, they're all females. So, but it's packed with babies, slammed. And then the mamas are, I don't know, they're, they're not all, not all of them are buried. And I want to get them out nice and easy because I don't want them to kick the, kick the berries loose, you know, and let them go. So, you know, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, get them out nice and easy so, you know, the transition's good. And there's not an issue. Take out this little tag because this tank is not going to be orange really anymore. And that one up there is not going to be cherries anymore. So I'm going to have to do the same thing to that cherry tank. Uh, I'm going to bring over, because that's what I'm saying, I'm going to bring over my uh, uh, Caradina to fill in these rows. And, you know, I just have all these uh, Neo Caradinas up here. So when I do water changes, I have to bring over two types of water. This way, if I have them all Caradina, Caradina, and Neos, when I do the bottom, it's all one type of water, one type of water, one type of water. You know, they're not getting, being moved for any other reason not like you know I like one better than the other <laughs> excuse me or one sells better than the other I just need uh, a place to put them um, you know for water change you know that's the only thing is doing water changes and stuff so all right well we got that packed we'll uh, we'll give this a once over one more before we actually see I come in here it's a little skewer you know give it time to set and just come through and just poke around in the little rocks and you know I don't see anything anymore <clears throat> if there's anything in here they'd be pop up oh, there's one yep that's got it. see and that's what I'm saying go through this, this little skewer you know you're not hurting nothing you're just bouncing it popping it around where'd he go now there he is and uh <clears throat> you know, nothing gets hurt. So it's just, uh, you know, I just come through here and, and tap around and if they jump, you know, go along the edges, you know, because they can be hiding anywhere, you know. it's I've done this so many times. You know, switch over from a Caradina to a Neo Caradina or Neo Caradine to a Caradine, it's usually how it is. You know, I'll use the tank to put Caradine in it or something. You know, there's something with the tank that I want to use, but yeah, this tank looks empty now. No swimmers anymore. 
even over here where the whole bunch of them were. Yeah, I think that's it. No swimmers. Nope, nope, right here, right here, right here, right here. You can't get away from me, dude. See? That's where they like to go. Shoot. Right to the rocks. So you get in here, just bump the rocks. Wham, I'll gotcha. And then I just put it in the water, just kind of a little motion back and forth, and they just swim right out, you know, and they're, and they're back into the hookup. Or they're, back, they're in the container. See, that's the thing is you got to rustle up the stones a little bit, you know, because they like to hide, you know, it's where they, but you don't want to hurt them, so you just, you know, bump it around a little bit, you know. <clears throat> That's it. I'd say that's a 99.9% uh, catch rate. <clears throat> I'm very happy with that. Uh, I don't think I lost literally any. So I'll put these guys up high so they stay warm. But that's what they look like. They'll be in their new tank here probably in, uh, you know, within an hour. They'll be switched back and then they'll put be put right back down in there again. Orange really. <clears throat> Alright everybody. Thanks for tuning in and watching a short little video. Alright. See you soon. Stay shrippy.